Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are introducing the World Pharmacology. The World Pharmacology is composed of two parts. Pharma means pharmacon. Pharmacon means drugs. Logy means study. So the study of drug is known as pharmacology. Or according to some books, pharma means drug, echo means action, logy means study, discussion, knowledge. So the knowledge of drug is known as pharmacology. The study of action of drug is known as pharmacology. The discussion on the action of drugs is known in pharmacology. And drugs is defined as any substance which bring changes in biochemical or physiological process. But according to this definition, food and each and any uh, drinkable things, they are also drugs, but they are not drugs. So if a substance is used in a particular recommended dose, which bring changes in biochemical or physiological process is known as drug. Or we can define drug as the substance which are used for the treatment, prevention, diagnosis and mitigation of diseases. For example, as a treatment, we are using antibiotic for the treatment of infection, that are drugs. We are using vaccine for the prevention of diseases. We are using lot of chemical in laboratory for diagnosis of diseases and we are using substance for mitigating symptoms. So mitigating means diminish, to decrease. So drugs are any substance which are used for treatment of disease, prevention of disease, diagnosis of disease and mitigation of diseases. For example, we are using antihypertensive to decrease blood pressure. We are using uh, anti-diabetic to do, decrease sugar level. Now all those drugs, all those substances which are in final shape that is injection, tablet etc are in crude form. They are known as drug but they are not medicine. If a substance is available in crude form they are drug not medicine. And crude drugs are those drugs, those substances which are simply collected and dried. They are known as crude drugs. What if the crude drug are converted into suitable dosage form, tablet, injection, syrup, etc. They are, not, they are known as medicine as well as drugs. So, all medicine are drugs, but all drugs are not medicine. The whole medicine is also uh, used for the internal disease study. For example, in MBBS book, there is a book, MBBS study, there is a book known as medicine. What is prodrug? The drugs which need metabolic conversion before action. Mean that drug which are inactive before metabolism. For example, this is uh, loratadine. Loratadine is inactive, antihistaminic, antiallergic. But once we use loratadine inside the body, there is a metabolism. Due to metabolism, loratadine is converting into disloratadine and now this disloratadine is active, antihistaminic and antiallergic. Such drugs are known as uh, prodrugs. For example, other we, uh, we have other a lot of examples. For example, acyclovir. Acyclovir is converting into acyclovir minophosphate that is converting into acyclovir biphosphate and then triphosphate. Now the acyclovir triphosphate is active antiviral. So they are known as prodrug. Placebo. Placebo are the drug which look like drug but not drug. The substance which look like drugs but they are not drug. They don't contain active material. They are containing only excipients. For example, the tablet of only starch, the tablet of only cellulose, etc. We are using placebo for the psychological treatment. Or it is also used in experimental animal uh, studies. The nomenclature of drug, each drug having four names. One is trade name, one is IUPAC name, and one is chemical name, one is code name. For example, the trade name Panadol. The Panadol uh, having its IUPAC name is N-acetyl paraminophenol. And the chemical name of this penadol is parastamol, while code name is used by the researcher. This trade name is used by, used by the manufacturing. And this is uh, used by international uh, chemical uh, system. And this is chemical name is also known as formula. 
The drug is well known by this formula. In the world, anywhere, uh, you may purchase the drug by using the word formula. Pharmacology is uh, actually having uh, two uh, basic uh, broad branches that is pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetics. Pharmacodynamic is actually the study of mechanism of action and pharmacokinetic is the study of ADME, absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination. So this is the uh, basic introduction of pharmacology. Uh, inshallah in this series of lectures uh, we will cover the basic pharmacology the next video inshallah we will uh, try to record on the roots of drug administrations then after uh, that absorption distribution metabolism elimination uh, and so on after this general pharmacology inshallah we will discuss systemic pharmacology and if we have time uh, later on we can uh, uh, record the videos for pharmaceutical organic chemistry and medicinal chemistry. Thank you for listening.